players that I ever coach. Wow. Mm. You know, that's interesting because a lot of people would say just based off talent alone, Carlos Vela would kind of sweep everybody on that list. Oh. Carlitos, yes, yes. Oh, okay. Sorry, <laughs> I have to. I have to. Right. Sorry, sorry. I apologize. No, no problem. As far as, as far as talented, oh, Carlos was mm. the, the the best player ever. There, there is a study in um, Carla twelve in the, at Stanford University, where where she uh, talks about the um, the um, personality of the of the athletes and they say fija which is almost like fixed versus progressive and the fixed uh, uh, type of personality are those who can play with and only talented with talent and that was carlos bella yeah mm. very 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 talented players if he could have uh, add to his game more a commitment, more discipline, and more uh, like extra work going to the gym. I think Carlos could have the could 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 have the potential to be one of the best players in the in his position. Hmm. And you've coached a, a lot of good players in the Mexican national team, and it leads me to ask the question of why exactly you left the Mexican national team after the World Cup. But did you want to stay? Was it offered? What happened there, Juan Carlos? Hercules, very interesting question. And I agree to, to come to your program and speak the truth. I think that that was my biggest mistake. Um, when we were in the World Cup, I was approached by Colombian executives, mm. by Colombian officials, and they promised me that I was going to be the, the, the next Colombian national team manager. And obviously, I am very proud to be Colombian. There are two nations that I really, well, three now that I really, I am very helpful. A, my own country, Colombia. B, United States, because where that's where I, where, that's where I went to university. That's where I start working and producing money and consolidating myself as a professional and see Mexico for giving me the opportunity to go to the World Cup. But when we beat Germany, and we, uh, as you probably know, we took Brazil on the uh, quarter of the World Cup. We, we took them to the 68 minute, almost 70 minute. Uh, then the Mexicans uh, changed their their point of view and they want me to stay but it was my decision to quit because i believe in the colombian federation and it turned out to be another case because then they decide on on another coach for another circumstances so i think uh hercules that was a big mistake on my part to leave mm -hmm. mexico where i was having uh, i think a a, a very good car football career and I think with another four-year uh, cycle I could I could have done better things was that on the mm. table Juan Carlos that four-year cycle was that offered to you by the Mexican uh, FMF yes uh, a lot of people don't 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 know that but after beating Germany and playing against Brazil the Mexican Federation offered me the next four years, and and I was very naive, uh, and I believe in the Colombians' executives and the Colombians' bosses, and at the end, they 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 play that play against my 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 career. Mm. It sounds like you have some regret, Juan Carlos, about the decision in the time. Would you ever consider in a future coming back to Mexico in the national team? Well, as I just said, um, I, I, uh, I, I believe that uh, any human being uh, is thankful with those who, who, who has helped him to become what he is. And in that regard, I was born in Colombia, so obviously uh, I love my country. My parents are still alive, as I said. I live here, 
But I am very thankful to the United States. And that's a country that I know I someday I will come back to work and to compete and and hopefully to to uh, uh, give my my input, whatever input I can I can make, because it's a it's a country that I feel very thankful to, and Mexico because they give me the chance to go to the World Cup, which is probably the best scenario for any any coach in the world.